So this is the control, which is not going to have anything in it. This is the treatment one, which is going to be this little guy. And then this is the treatment two, which is going to be the red guy. And then the treatment one is going to be the sugar and water. And then the treatment two is tap water. And this is before we've even dropped them in. So that's about it for right now. Okay, so now we are going to drop the gummy bears in, starting with the control. Okay, and this is where the gummy bears are going to be for the next 24 hours. Okay, so I did my experiment. I put them in 24 hours ago. I said that the control would not change. I said that treatment 1 would become crystallized with sugar. And I said that treatment 2 would grow larger in size. So let's take a look and see what they look like. So as you can see, the control did not change. Treatment one did not become crystallized, it just became larger. And treatment two did become a lot larger, as you can see. And now I'm going to put the control back. I'm going to put treatment one in the cup for treatment two. And I'm going to put treatment two in the cup for treatment one. Oh, and it's floating. I don't know why. Well, that'll be interesting to see tomorrow. Okay, so I just took these out of the fridge. Treatment 1 got a lot bigger because I put it in treatment 2 of the tap water. And treatment 2 got a lot smaller because I put it in the sugar water. Then the control stayed the same. So what I learned from this is that the treatment 2 is going to always make it bigger because just tap water, the gummy bears absorb it a lot better than just the sugar water, which is more dense, and they're both sugary, so it doesn't absorb it a lot. Um, yeah, so that is what I found out from my experiment. Thanks for watching. Okay, so something I also noticed was that on here, the sugar per gummy bear, I mean, it says for 17 pieces, but when you divide it out, it's 1.12 grams for each specific gummy bear. So what should have happened is the gummy bear should have gotten smaller because of the sugar in the water. But since it did not, that shows that the sugar water is not as dense as the gummy bear. Okay, so I just finished eating the, both of the gummy bears that were in the sugar and water solutions. And I came to the conclusion that both of them taste exactly like Jello, and they had the very gelatinous feel so what I was thinking is if you put the jello in a really high concentrated sugar water, it would get down to the size and feel of a gummy bear somehow. I mean, I'm not positive, but that's my hypothesis.